The IRS is giving taxpayers one more day to file after the online site, uh, the online pay site, I should say, completely crashed. Dan Mitchell of the Center for Freedom and Prosperity is with us. Dan, I'm going to catch hell from our viewers if I express some sympathy for the IRS because they have been told to be the police force overseeing Obamacare. And that's an impossible task. And they've had their budget cut 18% since 2010. I have some sympathy for them, but I don't think you do. Well, I'll, I'll surprise you here. I'm a tiny bit sympathetic to the IRS because it's basically the politicians on Capitol Hill who have spent, what now, 105 years creating this monstrosity of a 76,000-page tax code? Even well-meaning and honest bureaucrats would have a hard time enforcing that. But I don't want to go too far in that direction because <laughs> you, know, you mentioned that they've had their budget cut a little bit since 2010. If you go back over the last 50 or so years and you look at the inflation-adjusted spending on the IRS, it's almost tripled in size. So they have a ton of money to spend, and we have seen plenty of examples from, from the political hatchet job they did on the Tea Party uh, you know, to Lois Lerner's uh, scofflaw behavior. There are reasons <laughs> that we shouldn't hold them in high esteem. No, I'm with you on that one, Dan, believe me, absolutely with you on that one. Now, uh, more importantly, there's this new report about unfunded pension liabilities for retired government workers. It now exceeds $6 trillion. That's $6 trillion worth of, uh, of liability. You've got to pay it out, but you don't have the money. Alaska, Connecticut, Ohio, Illinois, New Mexico, they have the biggest liability. Look, Dan, that seems to me to be a time bomb waiting to go off because we haven't got the money to pay. When does it explode? Well, first thing to understand is this is an issue for state governments because under Reagan, we actually reform the retirement system for federal bureaucrats. But at the state level, especially in places like Illinois and New Jersey, these things are ticking time bombs because basically the politicians sit down across the table from the union bosses that represent the bureaucrats. And of course, those union bosses are the same ones who fund the campaigns of the politicians. And so there's nobody actually defending the taxpayers. And so they're more than happy to say, oh, sure, when you retire in 20 years, you can get a giant pile of money. But they don't set aside the money like they're supposed to. And as a result, these things are going to blow up in a really, really bad way. And, and frankly, I wouldn't be surprised with it, even though technically there's no part of bankruptcy law that allows the state to go bankrupt. I think that's going to happen sooner or later. Well, I, I live in, in the state of New Jersey. Uh, move, the new government. Move, you, quick. You, right. And now, the, <laughs> okay, I hear you, Dan. Believe me, I do hear you. But the new governor of the state, Democrat, his solution to this is to raise taxes. He wants to introduce a millionaire's tax at precisely the moment when state and local taxes are no longer deductible against your federal uh, 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 thing. What I see is a mass exodus, especially from the New Jersey's, the California's, the New York, the New Jersey and the Illinois of this world. Are you with me? It's not just me being with you. It's what the IRS data shows. They track the movement of taxable income around the country. And over the years, there's been a big shift of taxpayers and their taxable income out of the high tax states like New Jersey. Uh, and of course, as you pointed out, with the restriction now on the state and local tax deduction, which, by the way, was a great part of last year's tax reform, it's going to accelerate. And the new governor of New Jersey, it's not like he can put barbed wire fences around the border and stop people from escaping. And that's, again, one of the reasons why I think I don't know. Maybe it's the next recession, but maybe they can sort of hang on longer than that. Mm. But sooner or later, it's going to be like, you know, DEFCON 5 or DEF, whatever is the, the DEFCON 1, whatever is the bad one, it's going to happen in these states. <laughs> and there ain't no solution available in the immediate future. Dan Mitchell, thanks for joining us, sir. Thank we'll you, see Dan. you again soon.